Welcome back to EDU in 90. Google Keep is a G Suite for Education core service that allows you to create, share, and work together on notes and lists. You can make to-do lists, transcribe voice memos, take photos as reminders, and much more. While many of you might already be familiar with using this tool to share grocery lists with your family, Google Keep can also be useful in the classroom. That's right. We recently asked you about your favorite ways to use Google Keep in your math classrooms. On this episode, we'll look at some of the creative ways educators are using this tool. Let's get to it. Perhaps the most common math use case for Google Keep is drawing. Joel from Ontario uses Google Keep's drawing feature in his lessons to sketch out formulas, geometric shapes, and angles. He then uses Google Docs integration functionality to insert his drawings into a doc. Similarly, math teachers in Sarah Coates School use Google Keep's drawing functionality to annotate and organize class notes. Then they integrate them with Google Slides for reflection. Using a screen recorder, they'll create tutorial videos to round out the lesson. Oscar from Northern Ireland recommends integrating Google Keep capabilities with Equatio, a free Chrome extension from TextHelp, to create digital-friendly math equations and formulas. With this combination of tools at your disposal, Oscar claims you'll have teacher superpowers. Similar to other G Suite for Education core services, Google Keep allows for real-time collaboration and interaction. Dee from Missouri leverages this to capture mathematical thinking and problem solving with her class, so they're able to engage in math discussions together. Keep also has the ability to grab text from an image and generate text in the notes. Dee uses this Google Keep feature with her colleagues to create their own digital files just by uploading a picture of printed documents. So if you see a part of a lesson plan or a worksheet that you could use in your own classroom, give this approach a try. Well, that wraps up this episode of EDU in 90. Check out the description below for additional resources and the full set of ideas. And be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel. Until next time. Looking for a way to keep students focused and distraction free during assessments? Check our last episode to learn all about locked mode for quizzes and Google Forms.